Alright. I think I have everything set up alright. I am Autumnal Eclipse, and I'm going to play what is said to be one of the hardest games of all time. I want to be the guy. So let's start it off here. In the year 20,000X, on his 15th birthday, a child left home. On his dangerous and epic quest. To become the guy. probably recognize some of this from uh, other games, actually much of this, whether it be Rampage or Mega Man 2, for instance. Because this just recycles old sprites and music and whatnot. So, uh, let's jump right on in. There's my complete, complete version right there. Save game one. I got 10 hours of playtime. 1,574 deaths, um, and that's not even considering um, all the deaths that I hadn't saved because I just quit. So, uh, let's just jump right in here at save game 2. We're gonna hit new game. Before I go any further here, though, I'm going to uh, reset my screen region here. Here we go. That should make things a little better. Um, let's make this like so. There we go. And that should give me what I'm looking for, right? Yeah, I think so. Alright. So, my only options really are to double jump and shoot. So I'm going to hit the save here, and we're going to go this way. Now this is said to be one of the most difficult games. Um, it recycles sprites from other games. Um, it recycles music from other games. Um, all of this you've probably seen, especially if you're an avid gamer. Especially, uh, those are dick apples. Um, some people think they're cherries. I like to think they're apples. Oh, yeah, doing perfect so far in this round. Don't want to speak too soon, though. Alright. I'm going to see if I can't get to the, um... The Easter Egg Game Over screen. Um... Moving the master. Um, if you can get all the way over past the invisible platforms you can get to the game over screen. A neat little featurey easter egg thing. The next one's on the top of the cloud. There's the other one. Ah, shit. Yeah, you explode into a bloody mess whenever you die in this game. It's pretty enjoyable until it gets frustrating. There it is! The game over room! The safest room in the game! Only the Q button can kill you here. And there's actually no escape from the game over room. Oh, yeah there is. Huh, I thought there was no escape. Anyway, that's the game over room. Be glad that you got to see the easter egg. There's also like a tape recorder thing that's up there, um, which does absolutely nothing. Fuck. But since I already grabbed it, it's gone now. Alright, so let's head in the direction of the first boss. The objective here, um, to be the guy, is you have to, um, go forth and kill the old guy in order to be the new guy.
Um, hard mode is the default difficulty for this game. Uh, if you play on medium mode, you get extra save points, but instead of saying save above them, they say wuss, and it, it gives your character a little bow. Um, you're basically a little pussy. Alright. Fuck. Damn it. So the most frustrating thing about this game is the fact that when you die, you don't continue from the same screen you were on all the time. So. Much rage quitting happening with this game. I'm one of the few who can actually say that they beat it. Um, it is a pain in the ass if you try to go forth and be legit and, que and beat it. There we go. Fuck. Death. Probably could have saved myself there, but not really worth it. Much, much, much repetition. It's all about trying to get things right and perfect multiple times. And remembering all the stupid little traps that are designed just to piss you off. That lightning bolt being one of them. A fucking star falls on you. <laughs> Rips you a new asshole if you're not careful. Alright. You can actually, if you're good, you can shoot past these spikes and save from here so if you die. You'll be alright. And I'm actually going to show you a little easter egg here then. Um, if you jump down, you get hit by a, an airplane. <laughs> awesome. Alright. <clears throat> Let's get for real now. I think that spike, yeah. Actually duplicates and tries to kill you the first time you go under it. Ah, I just made it. Alright. I think that brings us to our first boss. Yes, it does. It brings us to none other than the Great. Here he comes. There he is. Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson's punch out. Freaking great. The only way you can kill him is by shooting him in the ear. <laughs> Fucking awful game. Awesome though. Very awesome. You get the legitimate music and everything. And you can only shoot him when he's taunting. They're doing the little fireball thing. There we go. See if I can't remember how to do this. Ah, shit. Alright, Mike Tyson. I can actually skip this whole cinema. You got three shots, it's like... Or, four shots, actually. Kind of like Mega Man, not quite. There we go. Alright. One more to go. Fuck. He's moving off screen. Dick. There we go! TKO! Come on, let's see it. There it is. Alright. Let's jump across. We get our first power orb thing. See that lovely moon over there? If you play this game, you're gonna learn to hate that moon. 
right, the only way to lift from this drop is to go this way, this way, double jump over that and land in the water. I can't believe I made it, actually. There we go, home free. Alright, we're gonna save. And we got our first boss kill. Go off. Um, you come over here. Brings you back to the main part of the game, this little sneak in. You can actually uh, sneak behind those spikes if you're careful. I'm not, and I'm not going to go that way. I want to actually continue on this way. Fucking apple, man. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, man, I forget some of this shit. Damn it. Alright, worst fucking part of the game. Not really. Actually, not not in my opinion anyway. The worst part's coming, if I recall. At least my worst part. Let's see. I'm gonna make those apples go, because I don't want to have to deal with them. There we go. Alright, it's great. I think you touch the top of that one. Yeah, there's the fucking moon. Could I make you have a bad day? Haha, <laughs> fuck you, Moon. If you're not careful, that Moon comes back around and rapes you. And here we are in Legend of Zelda Land. And it's dangerous to go alone. Should we take that sword? This is another one of my favorite Easter eggs in this game. <laughs> You dumped into a sword, you retard. Game over. Alright. This part's really frustrating. You gotta be really quick and careful about it. You gotta ride Link all the way over, but he tries to attack you on multiple occasions. Let's wait for him to come back over here. There we go. Damn it. I got a double jump just right there. The link gets ya. Fuck. Damn. Didn't time that right at all. There we go. This is the worst fucking part of the game in my opinion. Damn it. I... I hate the cemetery so much. It's so fucking difficult. We'll be stuck here for a long time. This part is the worst part of the game in my opinion. That so much. Fun <sighs> fact the majority of broken keyboards come from this stage. Again, this is Autumnal Eclipse, and I am playing I Want to Be the Guy. Or attempting to, anyway. I beat it years back, but it was years back. The worst part is, after you, if you manage to